Hello everyone. I am Sheikh Ali Arman, software engineer at Fscode. And today we are going to discuss how to provision and manage ClickHouse on Kubernetes using QDB. Okay, let's dive right into it. Uh, key topics of the discussion. Uh, what is ClickHouse? Uh, in this section, we'll explore what ClickHouse is, its feature, and how replication works in ClickHouse. And then we'll see how to provision ClickHouse using KubeDB operator. Uh, then we will highlight the feature KubeDB provides for managing ClickHouse. Uh, we'll showcase a practical demonstration. Uh, at the end, uh, we'll have a QA session for any question you may have. Um, okay, what is ClickHouse? Uh, basically, ClickHouse is an uh, open source column oriented database management system designed for online analytical processing, enabling users to generate real time analytical report using SQL queries. ClickHouse was developed by Index to address the need for generating reports for the non-aggregated data in real time. Um, here are some key features of ClickHouse. Uh, Column-oriented database management system. Uh, ClickHouse stores data in column, ensuring that no extra data is stored with the values which optimize the space and performance. Uh, data compression plays a key role in achieving excellent performance. Kilikhaus uses data compression. Uh, it utilizes various compression codec, both general purpose and specialized. Mm, Kilikhaus um, include a built-in dashboard for uh, real-time system monitoring. Mm, data replication and data integrity. ClickHouse supports asynchronous uh, multi-master replication, uh, ensuring data replication across multiple replicas. Uh, so failover and re recovery mechanism are largely, largely automated. Uh, data can be distributed across multiple servers or shard, with each shard having its own set of replicas. Queries are run in parallel across those shards. Mm, here is a diagram of ClickHouse cluster. Let's have a look at how data replication work on ClickHouse cluster. Uh, you can set, uh, set up multiple cluster with ClickHouse. ClickHouse uses mm, JuKeeper or ClickHouse Keeper to manage replication across replicas data replication occurs at table levels mm, ClickHouse keeper stores only mm, table metadata for every replica there are different path in ClickHouse keeper where metadata and distributed queries are stored mm, when data is written on uh, on replica the other replica are notified and retrieve the data to maintain the data consistency there are some specific tables in ClickHouse for data replication, uh, like uh, replicated mastery, uh, replicated summing mastery, then replicated replacing mastery, uh, etc. Uh, all of those tables have prefix of replicated. Uh, here we have a ClickHouse server uh, with three nodes and two ClickHouse cluster cluster 1 and cluster 2. Cluster 1 has two shard and each shard has two replica. And cluster 2 has two shard and each shard has one replica. Uh, here event is a replicated mastery and all replicas in cluster 1 have the event table and distributed event is a distributed table of this events table. Uh, for your information, uh, distributed tables enables data to spread across shard. Uh, although the distributed tables themselves don't hold any data. So here the uh, dist event will be used to distribute the data of event table 
between shard on and shard two when uh, when data is inserted in this event on cluster on uh, some data will be inserted in shard one and some data will be inserted in shard two uh, for shard on clickhouse skipper will choose one healthy replica and inserted the data into it then the other replica download those data from the first replica the same things will happen to shard 2 uh, okay let's say 100 data inserted in this event table and 60 data goes to the shard 1 replica 1 and 40 data goes to the shard 2 replica 2 then shard 1 replica 2 downloads data from shard 1 replica 1 and shard 2 replica 1 will download data from shard 2 replica 2 and internally maintain the data consistency uh, let's move on how kubedb provision clickhouse on kubernetes first user create clickhouse custom resource then kubedb operator monitor this here and provision the necessary Kubernetes resource such as pet set, secret, service, PDB, app binding, PVCs. Uh, here, pet set is a, uh, a stateful service managed by kubedb. Uh, this is similar to Kubernetes stateful sets uh, with additional enhancement of database management. For deleting Kilikaus uh, here, you will get four deletion mode delete halt uh, wipe out and do not terminate uh, with delete mode you can retain uh, secret while deleting other resource and reuse the secret with halt mode you can keep secret and pvcs in wipe out uh, all resources associated with the database will be deleted uh, and this uh, do not terminate will prevent accidental deletion of database custom resource. Uh, here are some features and specification of QDB provision or of Kilikaus. Uh, uh, custom health checker. We provide such, uh, support for customizable health checker. You can set the health checker health checking intervals, disable uh, database write check. Uh, you can persist uh, volumes to ensure that data is safely persisted to prevent unwanted data loss. Uh, we already discussed about multiple deletion policy. Uh, we have four deletion policy, halt, uh, delete, wipe out, do not terminate. Uh, the kubedb operator enhance uh, security by uh, running the kilikaus container as non root user mm, this will limit the potential uh, attack and reduce the risk of unauthorized access to the container mm, for managing cluster in kilikaus uh, we know uh, we need a jukeeper or kilikaus keeper server for the data replication QDB automatically configure the manages Kilikhouse Keeper for you. Uh, we also support internally managed Keeper. Mm, you can also choose the internally managed option on where the Kilikhouse Keeper runs alongside with the Kilikhouse server. Mm, although we recommend this only for testing, not in production. Mm, you can install kubedb with the following helm command uh, be sure to include the license key which you can obtain from uh, fscode.com uh, or kubedb.com you can visit those websites for more details on licensing and installation steps uh, one more thing uh, don't don't forget to pass the global fisher gate flag to enable the clickhouse support Okay, we'll now move on to a live demo. Uh, 
हेयर इज के लिखा हो कस्टम रिसोर्स दिस इज सेम एज आदर क्यूब डेबी डेटा बेज कस्टम रिसोर्स एज यू सी वी हैव ए पी आई वार्सन किऊब डेबी डट कम भिओन आलफा टू द कैंड इज के लिखा हो एंड इन मेटर डेटा यू कैन गिव द नेम अफ योर क्लिका उज डेटा वेज इन्स्टेंस इन नेम एंड यू कैन सेट द नेम स्पेस कैंडलि उव दी हाव टोटी फोर पॉइंट फोर पॉइंट वन क्लिका उज भाषण सपोर्ट एंड उव उव टू मोड कैंडलि उव उ सपोर्ट टू मोड वन इज स्टैंड एलोन एंड अदार इज क्लस्टर टपोलजी If you want to deploy in standalone mode, then you have to set the replicas as one. And in port section, you can set the custom resource if you need. Um, uh, we already discussed about deletion policy, uh, and you can set the storage to keep the data volume persistent. um so this is uh, the uh, cr of stand alone mode now if we see the cluster topology mode all the other fields are same as stand alone just uh, one extra field is added here uh, named uh, cluster topology in this section you need to set up the uh, kilhaus keeper Keeper cluster. So you have to deploy a Kilikaus keeper cluster, and then uh, you need to set the host and port here. Uh, you don't have to be worry about this. Um, we have the support for Kilikaus keeper in our next Kilikaus Kilikaus release. Uh, in cluster, you can. you have to set up the name of your cluster and the number of shard and number of replica you wanted to and in port section you can set the custom resource limit and request okay let's let's deploy the here is the resource of kilikaus keeper uh, currently i am using external kilikaus keeper So let's deploy the Kilikaus keeper and Kilikaus. Okay. Mm, uh, I am using kind cluster. I have already set up kubedb here. If you see the provisioner log, then okay. Here the provision kubedb operator provisioner is running. Now deploy Kilikaus keeper. so i i have deployed kilikaus keeper server you can see it's running so the pod is ready so uh, here is the service name is kilikaus keeper and the port is 2181 so we will use the host as kilikaus keeper and the port will be 2181 okay let's deploy the kilikaus cluster Let's watch the resources. So I have deployed this YAML. So we have the cluster with two shard and two replicas. Okay. So for every shard, we deployed a pet set here. 
so as we have two shot so two bits set are deployed okay our click house super is ready now exec the pod and insert some data on it okay Exit. So the server is shard one replica one. This shard uh, this replica is shard one replica two, and this will be. And this will be shard one, shard two, replica one. And this will be this will be shard two, replica two. No. So uh, here we have set up the macros. We have four macros: name, cluster, installation, replica, shard. This will be needed when uh, we insert data through the distributed table. if you see the macros of all the server then we see the cluster is cluster one installation is is three the click house instance name replica number so already i say that this is shard on replica two and this is shard two replica one and this is shard two replica two okay now insert some data so now create a replicated mastery uh, in replicated mastery this is the jukeeper path where the ddl query will be run for the replicas so and those those value will be propagated from the macros so we have four macros cluster installation uh, tables replicas okay now deploy this table get the table okay, it says the database already exists okay then change the name Where the table is created successfully, let's see the table on. So the event two table is created. Tables here, the event two already propagated. Okay, now create the distributed table for the event table okay the distributed 
table also created now insert some data on distributed table Now you can see the data on event table is 35. We have inserted total 100 of data, but in shard one we have 35 data. This also have 35 data. This is and this 65 data, and this is 65 data. So now the data inserted successfully okay let's back to the slide okay Thank you for your attention. If you have any question regarding this session, uh, feel free to ask. Okay, I think there are no questions. Okay, thank you for joining this webinar. Thank you all for your time.